The other day I was asked by a student of mine um, how he could build a geodesic sphere in Revit and uh, quite frankly I have no idea because I've never thought about how to do this. So I quickly got interested in the topic and looked into it and it turns out it's, it's actually not that difficult because you can just use an adaptive component to um, create this this sort of uh, triangulation of, of the surface. So basically if you have a component like that you can create any type of resolution uh, for the surface. And you can there are basically three um, three types of shapes you can uh, base uh, a geodesic sphere on. One of them is the icosahedron, which I uh, chose for myself. Um, and that's uh, uh, basically a 20 sided uh, sh uh, uh, shape that has 20 sides. Um, all of them are equilateral triangles, and it's one of the famous platonic solids. Now, in order to, to get from one triangle to four triangles, uh, what you need to do is um, you need to project the midpoints uh, of these edges onto the sphere, from the center of the sphere. So that would basically look something like this. And that will give you four triangles, where previously there was just one triangle. And um, basically with these four triangles you can perform the same action again, over and over again. So basically it's a recursive pattern that you can use in order to um, increase the uh, resolution and to approximate a, a real sphere. Now this this video is going to be about uh, creating all the components necessary to do this and uh, putting all those components together. Before we start, I'd just like to take a quick look into this um, into the uh, family here, just in order to show how it's how it's made and where we're going to go with this. So basically what we have here is a, uh, an icosahedron um, and um, this is made up out of 20 adaptive components and you can see this component has four placement points three of which define the triangle and the fourth one uh, is sitting in the center of the, uh, the shape which incidentally is also the, sh uh, the center of the, the sphere that uh, touches all of the vertices of these points uh, of these uh, triangles. Now there's a very simple way to construct a, an icosahedron and let me just demonstrate it basically um, is constructed on, on top of a rig like this and this rig basically consists out of of uh, three rectangles um, the edges of which um, have a ratio that uh, is described by the so-called golden ratio so um, if you've constructed a rig like this you can just place these components on the rig and um, just a quick look at one of the components as well. Actually, let's just switch to another component and let's have a look at that. So, this is the 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 piece that actually does the little bit of 
magic in that um, it performs the, the projection of, of these midpoints onto the sphere. And that's, uh, this component can be uh, recursively placed into other components like these and uh, that will later increase the, uh, give us the ability to increase the resolution of, uh, of the tessellation. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to build and um, the next fo uh, following videos are going to show how to build the separate components and then in the end we'll put it all together.